integers, opposites, and absolute value. This is a digital lesson. So it starts out with some definitions. This is what integers are, their whole numbers and their opposites. The opposite of a whole number is equal distance from zero on the number line, but on opposite sides. So it asks the students, what's the opposite of eight? So they just type that in. Then some more definitions, additive inverse, which is another term for opposite. And absolute value with some examples. And then it says, what's the absolute value of negative 9? They just type that in. And then they're given, given a slide where they're given seven integers. And they just have to type in the absolute value of each one. Then they're given some different terms that they might use in word problems and they need to determine whether those terms represent a negative or a positive. Now to move these into the correct column, they just click on the edge, click and hold, and then they can move it into whatever column they think applies. The next slide is also some real life scenarios and students are asked to give the integer that matches each one of those. Then on slide seven, they're given these movable yellow chips and they just have to move them to the correct place on the number line. So it shows seven and it's opposite. And this really reinforces for the students when they have to actually move them into place on the number line. So they're given two slides where they're going to show opposites by moving these circles. And again, they just click, click and hold and then they can move them where they like. Next slide. Um, this is, they're asked to give the opposite integer of each situation. So what is the integers for each situation? And then type in the opposite. And then the final slide has some terms they need to put into the correct place in the sentence frames. And again, just click and hold, and then they can move these into the correct place. So that is a lesson, digital lesson on opposites and absolute value.